Hello everyone, I'm Lieutenant Ryan Flood, Public Information Officer at the Greenwood County Sheriff's Office. This critical incident community briefing will provide you with information about an officer-involved shooting that took place at 300 Hammett Street in Greenville on November 15th, 2021. The information that you're about to hear is intended to give you a better understanding of what we know occurred at this time in the investigation. The Greenville County Sheriff's Office conducts comprehensive investigations relating to officer-involved shootings, and these investigations may require our team of investigators to conduct multiple interviews, review video and audio recordings, and possibly analyze forensic evidence. Our office will not draw any conclusions about whether the deputy's actions were consistent with our policies and in accordance with the law until the investigation has been thoroughly completed. It is important to note that during the course of the investigation, our understanding and determination of the incident might change in the event new information is brought forth and new evidence is discovered. A brief disclaimer, the content you are about to see and hear may be disturbing to some viewers. When deputies are put in a position that requires them to use physical force to effect an arrest or defend themselves against an attack, the actions can be graphic and difficult to watch. Additionally, some of the language heard in this video might be viewed as strong and offensive. Viewer discretion is advised, especially for young children and sensitive viewers. On November 15th, just before 2 o'clock a.m., uniformed deputies from the Greenville County Sheriff's Office Uniform Patrol Division were conducting routine foot patrol at the construction site located at 300 Hammett Street to detect and deter theft and other potential criminal activity. During these patrols, deputies discovered a suspicious truck parked within the construction site and noted the vehicle was occupied by a person in the driver's seat. As the deputies approached the truck to further their investigation, the driver suddenly began moving forward through the construction site. Deputies ordered the driver to stop, however he continued forward before abruptly stopping and putting the car in reverse, almost striking a deputy in the process. Here is the body camera footage from one of the responding deputies showing the incident as it unfolded. Body worn cameras are used by all officers assigned to field duties. They are typically worn at chest level and give a general perspective of what was within the camera's field of view. Once activated, the recording goes back in an effort to capture sudden incidents. The audio, however, does not begin recording until 30 seconds into the segment. Hey, stop hey. the door! Let's find out. We got a 53 Charlie. Beautiful Hotel Golf 395. It's a blue dot. I can put one. Deputies continue giving verbal commands as the driver moved forward through the construction site. As the driver approached one of the deputies, he fired one round from a 38 caliber pistol out of the passenger side window that was rolled down, striking the deputy in the process. The injured deputy and his two partners returned fire at the shooter. However, the shooter was not hit. Hey, are you okay? Get your turn on. Hey, we need we need EMS now. EMS now. We have an officer shot. Officer's been shot. Officer's been shot. Here is another angle from a surveillance camera in the area that captured portions of this incident. Certain parts of this video are difficult to see due to reception issues beyond the control of the Greenville County Sheriff's Office. The clearest view of the video is seen when played at a slower speed, therefore portions of this video will be slowed down.
As the suspect drove away, the partners tended to the injured deputy by providing first aid. Within moments, the suspect vehicle was spotted up the street, and deputies noticed he turned around and began coming back towards them. At this time, additional gunfire is heard. It is believed the suspect fired more shots toward the deputies from that location. Hold on. You're okay. I got you. I'm putting a tourniquet. You got him? Yeah, I got him. We're coming to you. You got the radio. Taking a right on the bunk of it's at the top of the hill. He's backing up. Hey, get that car if it comes back down here. Go higher, go higher. Coming back towards us. He's coming back towards us, Corey. Okay. My gun's right by you. I'm fired! Shots fired! Go higher, go higher, you're below it. I'm trying, he's coming. I know you're okay, take your time. <laughs> go bigger, go bigger, I'm okay, I'm not bleeding. For another unit, uh, that vehicle came back and more shots fired. Within moments, backup deputies arrived at the suspect's location and took him into custody. During the interaction, you will hear a deputy speaking commands to the suspect in Spanish as deputies gathered information that the suspect possibly spoke Spanish. The suspect was located within eyesight of the initial shooting on Hammett Street at the intersection of Church Street. I'm with you, Sarge. Do not kill him, not move him. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Do not move. Do not move. Don't move. No, they move. Give me the other hand, give me the other hand. I got it, I got it, I got it. Once in custody, the suspect was identified as 48-year-old Oscar Rene Martinez Munoz. He was subsequently charged with three counts of attempted murder, possession of a weapon during a violent crime, and possession of a firearm by an illegal alien. With the assistance of SLED and an ATF canine, the suspect's loaded 38 caliber pistol was later located in a grassy area within 20 feet of where the suspect was taken into custody. Additionally, several spent, 38 caliber shell casings were located and collected as evidence. Hello, I'm Sheriff Hobart Lewis. Consistent with all officer involved shootings, the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division, along with the 13th Circuit Solicitor's Office, will continue investigating the facts to determine if the deputy's actions fell within the scope of the law. In a separate internal investigation, our agency's Office of Professional Standards investigated the incident to determine if the deputy's actions were consistent with the strict guidelines and standards set forth in the Sheriff's Office Use of Force Policy. As of the release of this video, the deputies have been cleared through the internal investigation after investigators concluded that their actions to use deadly force were justified under our policy. If you would like further information on our Use of Force Policy, please visit our website at gcso.org and click on the General Orders link found under the Resource tab. Thank you for taking the time to view this critical instant community briefing.